Welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending June 8th, 2018. As you know, I love starting with a new anime announcement, and we do indeed have not one but two of them. Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba will be getting an anime series, an anime TV series by UFO Table. Not sure when. It looks like a historical action horror story as a young man discovers his sister has been turned into a demon and he turns into a demon fighter in a quest to return his sister to normal. Looks like a classic shonen story in the rough vein of, say, Yu Yu Hakusho or maybe Hollick. Uh, the second new anime announcement is a turn to the cute. Hello, this is Terumi, or Moshi Moshi Terumi Des, is an adorable little manga about a girl who answers the phone and a boy who loves her. Apparently, the place where she works doesn't let her use the internet at work, so she spends her time doing crosswords and other relaxing little time killers. It'll be presented in portrait mode on the cell phone-oriented anime service Anime Beans. Not quite a new anime series, but fans of the Castlevania anime series may rejoice. Netflix is funding a third season, which we know because the English voice cast is going in to record their lines for season three. Unfortunately, that's all we know. But hey, more Castlevania. <clears throat> we do know something that will make Gintama fans rejoice. The anime series is returning July 8th in Japan to continue the Silver Soul arc at episode 354. This may be bittersweet for Gintama fans, though, as the Silver Soul arc was the one that ended the manga. Will there be more Gintama after this? Well, almost certainly. It's really popular. <clears throat> Good news for fans of Kenichi Sonoda. The Bean Bandit Kickstarter officially reached its goal of about $136,000 US for its five-minute anime short. Unfortunately, it kind of stalled out there, rising to about 148000 as of right now. And with only eight days to go, it's unlikely it'll reach the 380000 it needs to expand that to a 20-minute film. Still, we'll definitely get some animation out of it, and that may be enough to push financers to come in and finance a full anime work, OVA, something along that, those lines. We'll see. Bad news for fans of New Life Young Again in Another World. After some Twitter drama around some allegedly negative comments the author made about China, the four main voice cast members of the upcoming anime adaptation all resigned. Now, no word on whether this will stop the anime being made or whether the characters will just be recast. Anyway, drama. Also issues around the identity of the main character uh, in before he gets reborn. Finally, a bit of, let's call it, unfortunate news for fans of Furikuri. Toonami had originally planned to stream episodes of the new Furikuri episodes simultaneously upon airing on television, but then apparently somebody pointed out this would cause problems for the Japanese companies, as Japanese fans could just watch the Toonami version. As a result, Toonami has pushed the release of the streams back to November, which will be two months after it premieres in Japan. This is the reality of simultaneously licensing things. Like, stuff has to be around and available for different things and different people. You know? Oh well. <laughs>